Hi, today we're going to see how to create a double exposure effect in GIMP. I will put the link of the images I will use in the description box. So first we need to add an alpha channel to this image. So right click on the layer here, add an alpha channel. And now we need to remove the background from this image here. So now I'm going to use the fuzzy select tool here. And now just click on the white background here. So here it is. And now press the delete key on your keyboard to remove the background here. So as you can see here, I'm going to remove selection, go to select none. So as you can see here, there is small outline over the person here. So I'm going to remove it. Go to the layer here, right click on it. Alpha to selection. And now we're going to reduce the selection here. Go to select, shrink. I'm going to reduce it by three pixels. Press OK. Here. And now go to select, invert, to invert the selection. So now this is the part selected. So now we're selecting the background here. And now press delete key on your keyboard. To delete, go to select none. So here now it's okay. If you want to remove small outlines here, I'm just going to take the paintbrush tool. The brush is hardness 0.25. The hardness is 25 and the force 25. And now I'm just going to paint over a little. So press Ctrl Z to undo. Use the eraser tool to remove the white here. So here, just going to paint over white here just like this this part two here now i'm just going like this i'm going to remove this one too here just a little bit here too I'm going to remove this one here too, like this. So here I think it's okay. So now I'm going to bring second image. So here it is. Now convert it. So here's the image we're going to use. So now let's hide this forest image here by clicking on the eye icon here. Select the person image, person layer, sorry. Right click on it, alpha to selection to select what's inside the layer here. And now let's show our forest layer here. Select it. And now we're going to remove what's outside the selection here. So now I'm going to use the move tool. And now we're going to move the layer here, the forest layer, to see what part of the image I want to keep in the selection here. So I'm just going to move it a little bit like this. So here, I think it's okay here. While on your mountain layer, the forest layer, sorry, right click on it, add layer mask, check the selection layer mask. And here, as you can see, in the layer mask, it filled the selection with white and the everything else with black here. And now we are going to remove the selection, go to select, none. And now we're going to hide the forest layer, click on the eye icon here. Select the person layer here, duplicate it by clicking on this icon here. And now we're going to desaturate this layer, go to colors here, saturation. And now bring the scale slider here all the way down, press OK. And now we're going to place this black and white layer on top of the forest layer here. So here, I'm going to show the forest layer again. So here's our black and white layer. And now I'm going to change the mode of the black and white layer to multiply. So here it is, here's our double exposure effect. And now if you want to remove some of the face here, you can Take the eraser tool while on your black and white layer. And here, just so like this, as you can see, it will show the layer below it, the forest layer, 
or here for example here as you can see now control z to undo since i want to keep this so let's change the mode back to multiply so here and if you want to show the mountain layer here so here just select the layer mask here take the paintbrush tool here change the foreground to white since white is going to show the layer and here you can paint it will show the layer here the first layer so control z you just want to keep the effect as it was so here let's show our black and white layer and now i'm going to since we don't use we are not going to use this layer i'm going to create a background here so i'm going to take the gradient tool the gradient name is fg to bg and the shape is radial i'm going to change the background color i'm going to take this gray here the html notation is a6 a0 a0 press ok and now just go to the middle here and just drag here the gradient here like this and now press enter now let's show layers so here are they so if you want for example right click on the top layer the new from visible so you can move the layer here so let's show our background layer let's take the move tool while on our visible layer new visible layer so here you can move it move middle like this so i'm going to place it in the middle here so i'm going to crop this layer go to layer here crop to content take the alignment tool left click here on the image layer on the person here and now click on this icon to center it horizontally so like this and now right click on the layer here layer to image size now if you want to remove these squares just take another tool and so here it is that's how we can create a double exposure effect in game thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time bye bye